And now, MTA International brings you the world news. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Batu Rahman here in Silver Spring, Maryland, USA. Now that this is the first of many live reports we will inshallah bring you during the tour of our beloved Imam, Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper. Now obviously there's a lot of preparation that takes place prior to the arrival of Hazur. Let's take a look at some of the transformations on site here at the mosque at Batu Rahman prior to his arrival. The Batu Rahman Mosque, the U.S. headquarters of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA, is based in the state of Maryland, a hundred miles away from the U.S. capital, Washington, D.C. The mosque was inaugurated in 1994 by Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmed, the fourth head of the community, and has been visited several times by both the fourth and fifth Khalifas. Hazrat Khalifa al Masih V, may Allah be his helper, last visited in 2012 when he delivered the Friday sermon on June 22nd. Those blessed moments have now returned as His Holiness is once again visiting this historic mosque. Arrangements on site have been ongoing for the last few weeks to prepare for Hazur's arrival. Marquees have been put up around the grounds to cater for the thousands of Ahmadi Muslims expected to flock to the mosque to see their beloved Khalifa. Uh, I am a part of the Hidden the Khalq uh, team and we are uh, setting up a, a, a barricade and uh, uh, to guide uh, uh, members coming. Um, we expect of over 6,000 people here um, and so uh, the masjid cannot accommodate all 6,000 so we have additional uh, tents uh, for spillover and uh, inshallah I, I hope we'll be ready. Unfortunately, the weather today is not playing on our side, and so we had to come up with the backup plans last minute. But with the help and the love of the community that we have over here in Silver Spring, we uh, were able to have the high schools and churches uh, get together with us uh, to help and get cars on pavement so they're not getting stuck in the mud. This is uh, actually, uh, some people, it's a passion. And also, it's uh, the people who have a love for Khilafat. Uh, today, there's so many people showed up. Compared to, you know, in the Langar, I have to recruit and, you know, sometimes I ask them. But today, people are just keep coming and keep asking me uh, that uh, I want to work, I want to work. And this is just a love of Hazur, nothing else. And that's why, you know, mashallah, I have a very good team. The heat is, uh, we are kind of used to of that. I've been working this one since 1988. So this is, uh, you know, we don't feel the heat anymore. <laughs> so. Hired contractors and members of the Jamaat have been working tirelessly to clean up, redecorate, and improve the site. And they came, they took off time. This is a weekday. People, school is in session, work is in session, and people have taken time away from their families, time away from young children, time away from elderly parents to be here to meet their spiritual father and to receive from him and then ultimately to take back to those families some of the blessings that they receive here. As the beautification of the mosque comes to an end, the USA Jamaat is content with the knowledge that the true beauty of the mosque will shine through with the presence of thousands of worshippers praying behind their beloved Khalifa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Now we can see from the clip just how much preparation takes place, not only at a physical level, but in each department of the Jamaat. And it's honestly a huge blessing to have Hazuri Anwar, may Allah be his helper here. I'm joined by our guest, Dr. Nasim Rahmatullah Saab, the Naib Amir of USA, one of them. And uh, I just want him to share some of your thoughts and feelings. How did you feel when Hazur arrived and uh, the, looking at the people's faces? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Well, when Hazur arrived, you know, the excitement was, uh, before Hazur arrived, was already there. But you could see the, uh, and hear the excitement amongst the people who had gathered here. There were roughly about 3,000 people here last night. And uh, the kids were singing and the, our, our hearts were pounding. And, and the greatest feeling that you get when you are around or in the vicinity of Khalifatul Masih is it really feels like heaven on earth you know you, f you get that feeling right. you get that spiritual feeling and you know everybody is 
nice to each other, not that, that they are not nice to each other otherwise, but they are better, more nice uh, than before. Makes sense. Yeah. So, and plus the unity and the camaraderie that people feel together, that is what brings us uh, so much comfort to our hearts. And we want this to last as long as it can. Inshallah. Inshallah. I think another really important aspect to cover, and I just wanted your thoughts and feelings about that as well, is how does Hazur's arrival at Alok Jamaat, how does it affect the people? How does it impact their work, their passion? How does it affect everyone? It uh, really brings out the best of all the people, even people who you would not see normally. You know, they come out of the woodwork and they've been working. We've been planning this since May, ever since we found out Hazur was planning to come. We've been planning this since May of 2018. And now since Hazur is going to be going to Philadelphia, which is the mosque that, that, that was built there, that he's going to inaugurate that. And you could see amongst the people in Philadelphia, they were working 24-7 and you know, doing work in the mosque, painting, cleaning, doing this, doing that. And every time I went there, and uh, because I'm in, in charge of the preparations too, so I saw these people, you know, they were just working so hard and it was amazing that you see these people, they're volunteers, they're not getting paid, but because Khalifa al masih is coming, they all, they all want to be, be part of it. They want to get blessings out of it and uh, to please Allah. And that is the best that we can see. I think one really good thing to see when we're here doing the preparations for Hazur, you see everyone working, mm -hmm. big or small. Mm -hmm. Everyone's picking up together. Mm -hmm. It's not like someone has a bigger order so they won't help with this. Everyone just has that one thing in their mind, mind that they're going to work together and prepare for Hazur's arrival. That's right. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we are all uh, people who have faults. And uh, although we, you know, Khalifa al Masih keeps telling us, you know, you got to reform yourself, you got to do this, you got to be better people, be kind to each other. But uh, what happens over a period of time, we again default again. Yeah, right. So the struggle that Khalifa al Masih you know, he brings out the best in us. So he, do, he doesn't want us to be recurrent defaulters. Right. He wants us to be recovering defaulters. Picking so that ourselves up. Picking yeah. ourselves up. So that is also one of the aspects that each time Khalifa al Masih visits us, he brings us, you know, this that new, um, light. The new light into us. Yeah, and I know, I know it yeah. really gets hard, especially living in a yeah. very busy world and uh, yeah, just right. everyone's working right. and everything. But when Hazur comes back, it really brings you yeah. back to your core, core and the things right. that you're supposed to be thinking Absolutely. about in life and what's Absolutely. important. Absolutely. And uh, also the fact that uh, we tend to get, gather more for Salat in the mosque. Exactly. And uh, you see, uh, this morning you saw a lot many people that would normally be here at the mosque. Jazakallah. Thank, Thank you very much, much Dr. Naseem Rahmatullah Saab. Now let's take a look at the clip of uh, the people welcoming their beloved Imam, Hazuri Anwar, may Allah be his helper. Members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA have been anxiously waiting for the day of the arrival of their beloved Khalifa. This Friday I came to offer the Jumu prayers. Then I got the overwhelming news, the wonderful news. I've been waiting to hear that Uzur Sab, our beloved Imam, is visiting. I don't know how happy I was. Only God knows how happy I was. I was very happy. I was very excited. That was the wonderful, the, the best news someone has ever given me in the U.S. The news of Uzur Sab coming to the U.S. I am excited. I am happy to see him. I couldn't wait for Hazur to come even at school. I was just like I was unable to sit down properly. I was like, Hazur is coming, I can't wait. The beautiful grounds of the Bayt rahman Mosque are filled with crowds of members, young and old, waiting earnestly for the moment when His Holiness will enter. Now that the Khalifa is here, hearts are appeased and in deep gratitude for this blessed day. Hazur is here for a number of days and it is important that we not waste a single drop that he's sharing with us. We grab every single drop that we can. Hazur is coming here. The theme of the ark is ever present on our minds and we're excited that he's calling us to join him on this ark. He's picking up passengers in the United States. He's traveling all over and it's time to board this ark. There's only one ark and we're very blessed that he's coming here to see us, to grace us, to bless us and we're just eternally lucky for that. 
So this all took place last night when they welcomed Hazur and you could see the, all the beloved Jamaat members, they've been waiting for hours but as soon as Hazur arrived they didn't worry about how tired they were, how long they were standing there for and everyone was just excited to see Hazur. To share some of his thoughts I'm joined here by Bashir Malik Saab who's actually in charge of the physical arrangements and the ziyafat here at the stay of the tour of Hazur, Hazuri Anwar may Allah be his helper during Baitur Rahman and uh, share a little bit of, uh, I would like you to share some of your thoughts about how this all took place and all the things that you needed to prepare for. So, um, so as, uh, as you can see that there are a lot of things that go in the background and things have to start way early and it takes a lot sa of sa same thing here, uh, we started planning this thing about two months ago how, where, what tent would go because the, the mosque itself can only house 500 people and right. from the clip from last night you could see the energy, enthusiasm and all the, the, the number of people that were here. So right. we had to make arrangements for that and in doing so uh, we have put up marquees for men and women and obviously Ziafat which is a very important part of that uh, hospitality. Um, so all those things went into our planning and then you just can't just erect a marquee. You have to make sure that the local county and all those permissions Following have all been, regulations, yeah, right? all the regulations are followed, where you are going to put electricity, where you are going to put water, where are the fire exits and where are the fire extinguishers. These are small things. But at the same time, they take time and you have to take care of them. Especially when you're dealing with so many people at such a large scale. Definitely. Safety and security are, the, are, are paramount. So uh, you have to make sure that, yes, uh, people convenience is important, but you have to just find a middle ground where you make sure that the, uh, no security is compromised. Right. And so you have to put some barriers here and there. And then, uh, uh, mashallah, Jamaat already knows all that. So everyone is very cooperative from three, four year old kid to 90 year old person. You're right. I think a lot of this training comes from Jalsa right. as well. We're yes. used to dealing with such large numbers and following the like the Jamaat and their Nizam and what they tell us to do at right. that time. So people are definitely trained. Uh, you, you just have to make sure that you put up enough signs and tell them directions. For example, uh, l last night we were using a service where we would tell people on their cell phones right. that how to, okay, how to come in, how to yeah, come out. That what parking lot is available right now. Our biggest challenge for past uh, month has been the rain. We, right. um, Zakala, thank you very okay. much. Thank you, Bashir Saab. And uh, we will have more live reports to stay tuned and join us for the historic tour of Huzuri Anwar during his tour in the USA. And also follow us on social media. You will hear from us soon. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.